Hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? It's me, Wokey here, uh, before the video actually starts, to tell you that, um, so, the next couple of videos coming up are me with the Mew Mew Force, and some of them don't have an intro, and the reason is, is that, uh, <laughs> we recorded too long, and it would take too long in my current setup to actually release these, and I don't have a lot of time. So they're basically being released in 10 chunk parts. So there's no ending for uh, part one and part three and in parts um, two and four, you won't hear. Actually, I think it's one, three and five. Man, there's a lot. We recorded a lot. Anyway, here's me just to say, enjoy the video. Hope you like it. It's another grind and talk. So I'm never sure if people like them, but here you go. And uh, if you wonder why the video cuts off weirdly at the end, that's the reason why. Goodbye. Hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? It's me, Wookie here, still here with Mew Force members, Captain Soldier 76. Hello. And Jace. What, are you doing my voice? <laughs> <laughs> I sure am. Yar, matey, I'm me, Jace. We're here for another grind and talk, so we'll just be talking while I grind in the background. You know the setup if you've seen the previous videos, and if you just watch my videos in general. And if you do watch my videos, thank you. I don't know why, but thank you. I don't. You know what? I don't like this. I have to. I have to change my voice now. I can't just record the podcast if you're gonna be doing my voice. We also gotta stop calling a podcast. These are actual videos with gameplay in the background. I don't know if I can do a voice like that for an entire episode. That's that's a strain on my throat. Like trying to do an entire accent throughout the entire, like, just bit. Hey, yo! What the hell was that? What <laughs> the, the hell was that? <laughs> hey, yo, it is me, Jace! Are you, you sound doing... like fairy Jace. You, you sound like, um, Chiaotzu ready to start a rock concert. <laughs> like... <laughs> That's right! I'm gonna kick your ass! Can you say, this is for you, Tien? This is for you, Tien! <laughs> so, when Fighters came out, my friend found out that, uh... Tien's in the game, right? Yeah, Tien well, is found in the out, game. He found out that Tien's special was Chaosu detonating himself. <laughs> <laughs> he, like... Like, I wouldn't say it instantly became his favorite character, but it was one of those moments where, like, he, he I don't know how to describe it, but, he like, he, he jizzed himself. He was like, oh, my God, Chaosu just died. The best thing dude, about it is, do that, it again. is that after he blows up, there's a, it cuts to the Tien sprite with his hands up going, Chaosu! <laughs> And then you're not allowed to use that special for the entirety of the match because Chaos is fucking dead. <laughs> oh, I love that so much. I don't think there's the, there's something extremely funny to me about uh, Chow Tzu blowing himself up being a special move. I want to say that's a special move in just about any Dragon Ball game out there is that if you have Chow Tzu, you're expected to blow his ass up at some point. <laughs> Otherwise, you're not doing, you're not being real. I expect uh, the new Dragon Ball Z Kakarot game to feature the highest 4K of blowing up Chow Tzu out there. What's that game about? Like, I saw trailers for it, but like, Yo. you're you just basically running through the story of, of Dragon Ball? Is that what you're doing? You ever hear this guy named Goku? He's the, <laughs> he's, he's the monkey king. And he's like, his brother's an alien, and then his brother steals his son, and then uh, he dies, <laughs> and then that's where the story begins. <laughs> and then from there, uh, Goku is brought back to life, but then a man called Kuenma says, I need you to be a spirit detective for me, Goku. And so Goku becomes a spirit detective, and from that point on, he gets into a bunch of tournaments, he goes Super Saiyan, <laughs> it's all good. It is, yeah, this is my asshole way of saying it is just the story of Dragon Ball Z. It was funny, because uh, when I was at E3, I turned to Bulma, and I was like, yo, it's a new Dragon Ball game. I was like, oh, there's quite a line. And I was like, oh, so what's the difference between this and the other Dragon Ball games? I was like, oh, I guess Goku's the main character in this one. 
And then I took a long pause. I was like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the main difference is that this is a RPG. That's the main difference. Also, it's made by CyberConnect2, the people who made Asura's Wrath and the Naruto fighting games. Oh, I like the Naruto fighting games. You'll probably like DBZ Kakarot, because <laughs> it's them. <laughs> but with uh, Goku in hand. I'm going to be honest with you here. If you have not been keeping up with uh, Dragon Ball fighting games... The story of every single Dragon Ball... There's two stories for every Dragon Ball fighting game. It's, here's the story of Dragon Ball Z again, or it's, Trunks is on, has fucked with time, and now you're hanging out with Trunks and correcting the timeline. Those are the <laughs> only two <laughs> stories any uh, Dragon Ball game has. Here's your original character. Go kick some ass. Yeah, that's Xenoverse, which is bad. <laughs> Xenoverse is not good. But oh, Xenoverse... is it not? I almost bought it on the Switch the other day. I don't buy it on Switch. If you're going to buy it, don't buy it on Switch. <laughs> it was on sale, so I was like, hmm. <laughs> Xenoverse, Xenoverse is fun. You can make your own uh, Majin Buu race person. So you can either be a fat male or you can be a skinny female. <laughs> Those are the two Majin Buu races. <laughs> all the males are uh, fat dudes and then all the women are not. So <laughs> those are the two Majin Buu races. Alright. <laughs> it's cool. Uh, it depends. I don't know. I guess when I bought it at like $60, I didn't feel that it was super... Actually, no. I had some fun with it. It's just not the best game out there. Let me just put it that way. It's no Fighter Z, as far as I can tell. Or as far as I can put on the barometer of uh, Fighter Z. Is the... <laughs> yeah. It's hard to like... It's going to be hard in general from... Uh, we as Dragon Ball fans need to learn with the fact that no, no other game is going to be as good as Fighter Z, so we should stop expecting them to be. So it's going to be back to uh, the old days where they were just kind of okay. Where you played this because it's like, I got to be Goku, and that's awesome. Also, this game comes with a free copy of Battle of Gods, so I bought it. That's a, that's a pretty sweet deal. It is a pretty sweet deal. I think for a while that was the only way you could buy Battle of Gods is that you had to buy a video game in order to buy get the get the actual movie. <laughs> they never put it out on individual DVD for a long time. That's ass. That's how I ended up with two copies of Watchmen. Really? Oh, because okay. uh, you bought the Watchmen video game. Yeah, I watched. I bought the Watchmen video game, which I never, ever fucking played. By the way, but it, it came with the DVD, so I was like. I can either buy, sorry, it came with the Blu-ray, so I was like, I can either buy a Blu-ray copy of The Watchmen, or I can buy this game, which, for whatever reason, is cheaper <laughs> than the Blu-ray copy. Oh, there's a very good reason why it's cheaper. It's because <laughs> the game came with it, and now you have a burden on your hands. Yeah, so I gave it to my brother, <laughs> and I just bought myself a regular copy. That Watchmen game is dog shit. I remember talking to uh, my good buddy, which we'll call A to protect his likeness. You guys should know who A is. It was a uh, uh, college, good, good, my good college buddy, A. I already figured it out. Is, okay. <laughs> how, about, how about you, Ginyu? I was trying to think of like a name to refer to him. How about Zarbon? Okay. okay. <laughs> because Zarbon. It's We'll go, we'll go with Zarbon because I think it's funny because he's nothing like Zarbon. I mean, yeah, but the, the hair, though. Yeah. Right? right? It's, it's the hair. Zarbon it's, is totally fitting, right? It is because of the hair. I remember we used to, I used to talk to him and be like, how do you deal with that hair? And he goes, I don't. It. I have to put up with it. I don't deal with it. I put up with it. <laughs> Fucking sucks. Takes me like 30 minutes to shower with this stupid thing. <laughs> Um, fuck, what was I going to talk about? Oh, okay, so the Watchmen video game. We were at GameStop one day, and I was like, yo, I like Watchmen. Is this game any good? And uh, Zarbon is one of the biggest uh, Watchmen fans out there. His email is named after the real-life name of, uh, of Rorschach, <laughs> to let you know how deep into it it is. Uh, that's his email uh, address. I won't say it out loud, so you have to figure it out. There's some numbers after it, so it's fine. You're not gonna find him. Don't go don't bother him if you find his email. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, please leave him alone. <laughs> but if you do find him, tell State him I said. 
Yeah, state of state panic. Of panic. When you went from like, hmm, they can't figure it out, figure it out to instantly, hmm, maybe they can't figure yeah, it out. Yeah, they can't shit. figure it out. Maybe. <laughs> He's a big Watchmen fan, but I said, is that game any good? You should know. And he says, oh, no, this game's a, a piece of shit. I did get all the achievements in it, though. So you want to maybe cop that for a good $10? It's like, fucking no. You literally just told me this thing is dog shit and then told me go play it. I'm not going to do it. And then I ended up not doing it. And so I've never played the Watchmen game. I just understand that it is maybe one of the worst games out there. There you go. Dude, I can't believe that they would sell it lower, though. That seems yeah. crazy to me. <laughs> That's weird, right? Maybe that was just at the peak of just, like, everyone had given up on Watchmen. So they're just like, this shit needs to move off shelves now. Huh. And Perhaps. There's, does... supposed to, there's supposed to be a Watchmen TV show coming to uh, HBO, but I believe it deals with the aftermath of what happened in the book That's or correct. film. And it doesn't seem interesting at all. <laughs> I don't know. I thought that trailer was interesting. The idea of uh, the only way to deal with the fact... By the way, this is going to have spoilers for Watchmen. If you have not read or even uh, watched the damn movie, it's not my fault. <laughs> Go read Watchmen. It's fantastic. Um, <laughs> but the idea of there being like a cult to show up after Rorschach and the idea of like... That kind of makes sense to me in a modern day context of just like... If there was anyone that would form a cult after his death, it'd be that man. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but I need this. I'll need to see more. The main problem is, is that this is the problem every single adaptation of Alan Moore's stuff. Is that it doesn't have that crazy bearded man, so it loses some of its weird flavor. And that's always been an issue with every single thing that's ever been released where he did not have any involvement in it. And he doesn't want to have any involvement in it, so it's not like they're going to go up to him and say like, Hey, can you help us out on this? We want to make it really good. When he would say, "Fuck off! I killed the <laughs> I killed the comics industry with this theory. 